I am Adil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers of my YouTube channel for watching these videos and sharing some brilliant questions from all over the world. Now here is another very good question from our subscriber. We need to solve this logarithmic inequality. So you need to solve log to the base 2 of x squared minus 6x plus 8 over log to the base 2 of x minus 8 less than 1. So you can actually uh, solve this particular question and then look into my suggestions. Now to provide you the solution, let me uh, discuss with you a strategy. Strategies really help for a quick solution. Right? So how we can solve in, in no time, right? Strategy for quick solution. This is a requirement, especially for a multiple choice question, right? So if you look into uh, the logarithmic function, let me rewrite this. We have log to the base 2 of uh, x squared minus 6x plus 8 over log to the base 2 of x minus 8. We want this to be less than 1. Well, we can factor the numerator and we can always write this as log to the base 2 of 8 is like 4 times 2, right? So we can write this as x minus 4 times x minus 2 over log to the base 2 of x minus 8 less than 1. So that's what you get. Now in any logarithmic function, what is most important is to figure out what are the restrictions on the function, right? So clearly, uh, we have a restriction here and the restriction is, let me write down. That x has to be greater than 4, greater than 2, greater than 8. That means x greater than 8 prevails, right? So we have a value which should be greater than 8, right? So that becomes the restriction from this part. The second part of this is we are saying that logarithmic function is basically less than 1, right? For the logarithmic functions, if we are having a value greater than 8, numerator is positive. Do you see that? Because uh, uh, if you look at it, at this is log to the base 2. So consider this part that uh, log of log to the base 2 of x minus 4 times x minus 2 is actually positive is always uh, greater than 0, right, is positive for, for x greater than 8, correct. Now, we want something negative, right, okay. For x minus 8, if you look into, you will realize that we do have a restriction here also, that is, that if x is equals to 10, then we have log base 2 to 2, right? So it becomes uh, 1. But if we have 9 as the value, right, then the denominator becomes 0, right? So that means we have another restriction here that x is not equal to 9, right? Since what you notice here is that log to the base 2 of uh, x minus 8 will be equal to 0 for x equals to 9. And denominator cannot be 0, right? So that's what we get restriction. So clearly, we know that this part, log to the base 2 of x minus 8, is greater than 0 for x greater than 9 perfect so it becomes positive for sure right so from here clearly you get an idea that between 8 and 9 you have your solution so so that means that the whole function log to the base 2 of x minus 
let me write this first okay over log to the base 2 of x minus 8 is is actually less than 1 for x between 8 and 9 okay, it is negative for sure the only thing you want to check is what happens after 9 that's what you need to check now after 9 you can see that the numerator values are much much higher than the denominator right so so it is greater than 1 so when x is when x is greater than 9 right in that case definitely log to the base 2 of x minus 2 times x minus 4 will be greater than log to the base 2 of x minus 8 right so for any value rather for any value you will notice that this value is greater than the denominator which is x minus 8 makes sense correct so definitely the only solution is when x is between 8 and 9 does make sense to you so by reasoning we can easily find that the solution is x equals 2 x is in between 8 and 9 does make sense to you right so so that becomes our solution right now for those who want to figure out the solution mathematically what they can do here is that uh, so what I will do for them is write down this equation in a different way to give you an idea when we have the same base so so long method and we say uh, what do you say algebraic method okay okay so that is the second option right so strategy that was our first option and I had to just reason it out to you to get the answer otherwise you can always get this answer within a minute right so that's why this could be in a multiple choice test paper right now algebraic method is that this whole function can be written as let me rewrite this you'll be amazed to see that part also as equal to log to the base of x minus 8 of all this which is uh, x minus 2 over x minus 4 right. so so that you can change the base you know and rewrite like this less than one I recommend you to look into my videos on this so that is how you could actually write this particular expression and now you can solve this particular equation easily by taking x minus 8 to the right side and you have x minus 2 x minus 4 on the left side so it becomes a quadratic equation so then what you can do is solve quadratic equation I should write inequality right and you will actually get the same result but you know even before solving this you will have to provide these reasonings because we need to restrict this domain clearly the domain here is greater than 8 right and we cannot have base as 1 correct since the base cannot be 1 you from here can see clearly that we get our restrictions correct x this base cannot be 1 so x is not equal to 1 I mean uh, I should write 9 here 9 not 1 x is not equal to 9 because if I put 9 here we get 1 right so base cannot be 1 so clearly we get these restrictions right there and so you can work out in two different domains one is within 8 to 9 where you'll get all values which are negative you'll get a solution and the other one greater than 9 so in greater than 9 you'll find no solution within your restricted domain perfect so at the end you will end up with the same solution so I'm leaving this part now from here onwards since it is solving a quadratic equation right for positive values you could just take this on this side and you get your equation uh, which is 
uh, let me rewrite here, which is x minus 2 times x minus 4 less than x minus 8 when x is greater than 9. Is that okay? When x is greater than 9, this is all positive and therefore you can rewrite this. Perfect. And you'll find this has no solution. On the other hand, when you solve this for between 8 to 9, it is true for all the values. And that is how you get your answer. I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Uh, thanks for your time. Post your solutions, and if you have difficulty, share it with me. Thanks for watching, and all the best.